I'd like to draw attention to three socialist strategic economic areas, sectors, infrastructure, education, and healthcare. Under infrastructure, Mr. President, Works and Housing has allocation of 262 billion naira. Power, 127 billion naira. And transportation, 123 billion naira. This will give us a combined proposed spending of 502 billion naira. For me, this is a welcome development. It is because the problem we have had in the past really is implementation. Uh, year in, year out, figures have been thrown out in this budget ritual. Yet, at the end of the day, it doesn't achieve much for Nigeria. And of course, under your leadership, Mr. President, we have agreed that the Ninth Senate will do its utmost to compel those who are responsible for implementing this budget to do the, the needful so that at the end of the day, we can also justify the mandate, our mandate. Mandates are give, freely given to us by the people. Mr. President, I think we need to have, get our committees Committees, relevant committees that have to do with this particular sector to be up and doing. Because if we succeed, we succeed together. We have collective aspiration as a people to jumpstart this economy, to create wealth, to ensure that our youths, our teaming unemployed youths, are gainfully employed. So if we invest enough and we ensure implementation, <laughs> we ensure implementation, I am sure that we will now be taking the country to the next level of economic prosperity. Mr. President, before the Chief Whip will send me packet, I'd like for us to look at the area of education as well. This sector has 48 billion naira. For me, I think this is mega. Education is the foundation of human development. In a country where we have over 10 million out of school children, in a country where we need to close infrastructural deficit in our educational sector, in a country where we need to have funds to train and retrain our teachers, we need You've got to round up. Finally, Mr. President, healthcare sector has for 6 billion naira. You look at this, this will translate to 230 naira per head in the country of 200 million, 200 million people. I believe we can do more to justify our mandate. Mr. President, our infrastructure, our infrastructure deficit in the health sector is my boggling. University teaching of... You please round up. Commonwealth of Nations. If you visit that hospital today, and I'm sure it's the same story all over the country, you will weep for this country. So I'd like to urge this Senate and by extension the National Assembly leadership to please increase our spending, even if it's not just more than 60 billion in our health sector. Thank you, Mr. President.